Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be going over some practice problems involving the Pythagorean Theorem where we find the exact side lengths. So before we get started, what is the Pythagorean Theorem? The Pythagorean Theorem is a relationship between the sides of a right triangle. So the legs of the right triangle, the two shortest sides are usually labeled A and B, and the longest side, the hypotenuse, is usually labeled C. If I drew a square off side A, its area would be A times itself, or A squared, if I drew a square off side B, its area would be B squared. If I drew a square off side C, its area would be C squared. And the Pythagorean Theorem says that the two smaller squares are going to add up to the bigger square, or that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So keep that in mind while we go over our first practice problem involving the Pythagorean Theorem. So I want to find the missing side length of this right triangle. So first I need to compare the sides A, B, and C. So. I see that side A has a length of 3, and if I square this side, if I find the area of this square here, I know that 3 squared, or 3 times 3, is going to be 9. Now let's take a look at side B. I see that side B has a length of 4, and if I square this side, if I find the area of this square here, 4 squared, or 4 times 4, is going to be 16. And so the Pythagorean Theorem says, if I combine these two smaller squares, they should have the same area as c squared, the same area as this bigger square. So 9 plus 16, that's going to be 25. But I'm not quite done yet, because I don't want to find the area of c squared, I want to find the missing side length. So I need to ask myself, what number times itself will give me an area of 25? Or another way of saying that would be, what is the square root of 25? And in this case here, I know that 5 times 5 is going to be 25, so the missing side length is going to be 5. Let's go over our second practice problem. So let's compare sides A, B, and C. And I see that side A has a length of 2. If I square this side, if I find the area of this square here, I know that 2 squared, or 2 times 2, is going to be 4. Now let's take a look at side B. I see that side B has a length of 9, and if I square this side, if I find the area of this square here, 9 times 9, or 9 squared, is going to be 81. So the Pythagorean Theorem says, if I combine A squared and B squared, if I combine these two smaller squares, they're going to add up to C squared. So I see that 4 plus 81 is going to add up to 85. But I'm not done yet, because I want to find the area of this square here. I want to find its side length. Or I need to ask myself what number times itself is going to equal to 85. Or what's the square root of 85? I could take the square root of this number and get some decimal around 9 point something. But I want to leave my answer as exact. So I'm going to leave my answer as the square root of 85. Alright, let's go over our third practice problem. And this problem here. Instead of having side C missing, I have side B missing. But we're going to start the problem the same by comparing the squares off the side. So let's look at side A. Side A has a length of 5. And if I square this side, know that 5 times 5, or 5 squared, is going to be 25. Now let's look at side C. I see that side C has a length of 7. And 7 squared, or 7 times 7, that's going to be an area of 49. So now I'm going to find the missing side length. I want to figure out the length of side B. I know that B squared is going to be the area of this square. And the Pythagorean Theorem says, if I combine A squared and B squared, it should add up to 49. So I need to ask myself, 25 plus how much more will bring me up to 49? So what would be the area of B squared? I know that from 5 to 9, I need to add 4 more. And from 20 to 40, I need to add 20 more. So the area of B squared is going to be 24. And that makes sense because 25 plus 24 is going to add up to 49, or that the two small squares add up to 49. But I'm not quite done yet because I don't want the area of the square. I want to find its side length. So I need to ask myself what number times itself is 24, or what is the square root of 24? And since I'm leaving my answer as exact, I'm going to leave it as the square root of 24. 
Let's go over our fourth practice problem. So here, instead of having side C missing, we had side A missing. So let's start by comparing the sides. So I see that side B has a length of 7. And if I square this side, its area is going to be 49. I see that side C has a length of 8. And if I square that side, I know that 8 times 8, or 8 squared, is going to be 64. So the Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared is going to equal c squared. So 49 plus a squared, 49 plus how much more is going to equal to 64? Another way to think about this problem is subtraction. I can take 64 and take away the space from 49, and what's left over has to be the space of a squared. So 64 minus 49, I know that's going to be 15. So I know that a squared has an area of 15. But I don't want the area of that square. I want to find its side length. So I need to ask myself what number times itself is going to be 15, or what is the square root of 15? And that's going to be a. And I'm going to leave my answer as exact. Finally, let's go over our last practice problem involving the Pythagorean theorem. Here, instead of having a diagram, I'm just given that side A is 6 and side B is 10. But I can still do the same thing. Again, the square off side A plus the square off side B should add up to the square off side C. So let's find the areas of these squares. I know that side A has a length of 6. And if I square that side, 6 times 6 or 6 squared is going to be 36. I see that side B has a length of 10. And if I square side B, or 10 squared, that's going to be 100. And if I combine the two smaller squares, A squared plus B squared, that's going to equal C squared. So 36 plus 100 is going to be 136. But I'm not done yet, because I don't want to find the area of the square. I want to find its missing side length. So I need to ask myself, what number times itself is going to be 136? Or what is the square root of 136? And that will tell me the length of side C. So in conclusion, when working on the Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean theorem is a relationship between the sides of a right triangle, where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 